This is a Lantern Moon interchangeable Tunisian crochet hooks, and I just could not stop thinking about this set. I knew I wanted it so bad. There's a few things about it that really stood out to me that is why I wanted this to be my first Tunisian crochet hook set. And I said first because I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up with another set down the road. Like I just, I think that's going to happen, but I knew that this was the set I wanted to start with. And I felt like this would cover most of the projects I want to do right off the bat. So I've already peeked inside of it because I just couldn't resist. And then I put it back together so I could show you a little bit more of like the unboxing of how this actually arrived. So this is the packaging it came in. It came in like a bubble mailer, but then it came in this pretty little mesh pouch and you just untie it. This is kind of a cute little pouch though. I'm sure I'll keep it and use it. Um, there's this little brochure inside that has some different products from Lantern Moon. It's kind of a nice little um, catalog, I guess, if you want to take a look. This is what we're about to open. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, so just a nice little look. I'll probably keep that as well. It's always really nice to have a hard copy of something as a reference. This is the case that they come in. So this little front part here, I wasn't sure online, but now that I have it in person, it is embroidered, which is a really nice touch. And then let's open these up. Okay, here we have the hooks. So this comes with six hooks. The smallest ones are four millimeter. Then we have five, five and a half. I just wanna make sure, six, and then I believe we have six and a half and then an eight millimeter. So that's a pretty good size range. I know it doesn't look like a ton of hooks, but these are definitely going to be my most used sizes. So I love that. I love that they all fit in a fairly small case. So it's going to be easy to pack. Um, and these hooks are made with ebony. So I love ebony. It's a gorgeous wood and ebony is super, super, super smooth. I'll show you the hooks up close here. Let me just close that so you can get a better view of the tip. So I, I usually use furls with my regular hooks, which is kind of a hybrid between inline, which would be like Susan Bates and tapered, which is like a boy hook. So this is right in between, I feel like, which is what I really like to see. Um, I love the tip here. It's pointed, but not sharp at all. So I really, really like that. I'll show you the tips on another size as well. Let's go with the five millimeter. I just, I love that shape. That was another reason I knew I really wanted a set like this. I love that hook head shape. I think I'm really gonna like it. And as you can see, they all have this really pretty gold um, embossing. I've heard over time that it can wear off, but honestly, I'll just use a, um, like a needle measuring gauge and then I can easily make sure I have the right hook size if I misplace them or don't put them back in the right slots. So that's the hooks, just beautiful. And another reason why I wanted this particular set in addition to the ebony material was the swivel cords. So it comes with two cords. I can't remember what sizes these are, but let's just see if we can carefully open them up. Okay, so I don't have a measuring tape with me, but they are two different lengths. So this one is quite a bit longer, and then this one is, I don't know, they're a pretty good size. Um, I really like that. But what I loved about these is that these are a uh, metal cord, and then it is coated in like a nylon material. So I wanted this material cord. I've heard such great things about it. I know I'm really, really gonna like this and it's not gonna be as like crimpy as like a plastic cord that I was kind of using before just to, to test out and learn Tunisian. So that is wonderful. I love these cords. And then in here we have um, the tools. So this is really impressive to me. This is the key that you'll use to um, tighten the cord onto each hook. I can show you that in a second here. But I thought that this was really impressive because a lot of times I've seen hook sets like this or needle sets just come with like a metal pin. And I really like the wooden handle on this because I thought it would be easier for me to keep track of, make sure I don't lose it, which is always a concern for me. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But I really, really liked that. 
and it's hard to see here, but it does have Lantern Moon branding on it. And then at the end of each cord for Tunisian crochet, you use a stopper. So these are what the stoppers look like. They are also a beautiful ebony wood and there are two of them. So one for each cord. Okay, now that I have everything out, let me just show you really quickly how to, how to use these. Okay, so here we have a six millimeter hook and all that you need to do is take your cord. I just chose the shorter one. You just spin it in there like that. And then you use this little key to insert it in this hole here and tighten it. So you would just insert that and then turn it a little more to tighten it. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't, I guess I can. I'm just gonna take this apart after the video anyway, so. But what is so cool about these cords is that they swivel. So as you're crocheting, you see this, I can independently move the hook and the whole thing swivels. That's so nice. So I'm really, really excited about that. Okay. Then if I was actually going to start a project right now, I would also put the stopper on the other end, which would work the same way. You just spin it on and then you can use that key to tighten it down. Okay. And that's it. Oh my gosh. This set is so beautiful. I will be caking up yarn today to get something started. I've been so excited to get this in the mail and what a treat. I absolutely love it. First impression is just beautiful. I can't even wait to start using it.